Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about ISLM model for UGC NET. This model is given by John Hicks in 1936. In this model, IS represents investment and saving. That means I represent investment and S represent saving. And investment and saving mainly tell us equally we remain goods market or we can say that investment and saving mainly tell us equally we remain product market. And LM represent liquidity and money supply. That means L represent liquidity or we can say that L represent money demand. And M represent money supply. Money demand and money supply mainly tell us equally we remain money market. And together IS and LM tell us interaction between goods market and money market and also describe how these two markets are depend on each other. First of all, we are going to talk about IS curve and derivation of IS curve. So what is IS curve? IS curve is combination of income and interest rate which mainly tell us equally we remain goods market. IS curve is combination of income and interest rate which mainly tell us equilibrium in goods market. As we know goods market is in equilibrium when aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply. Now we will see process of equilibrium in goods market. Suppose interest rate fall. As interest rate fall, investment will increase. Obviously, now people will invest more money because they can get money from bank at very low interest rate. As investment increase, aggregate demand will also increase. As we know, aggregate demand consists both consumption expenditure as well as investment expenditure. As investment increase, aggregate demand will also increase. As aggregate demand increase, income also increase. As we know, national income is equal to aggregate supply. So we can say that as aggregate demand increase, aggregate supply will also increase and become equal to aggregate demand. Now aggregate demand and aggregate supply are equal to each other. That means our goods market is in equilibrium. As we know, goods market is in equilibrium when aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply. Now we will drive IS curve. Here we have two diagrams A and B both are connected with each other. In A diagram on X axis we have income and Y axis we have aggregate demand and aggregate supply. This AD this curve represents aggregate demand. AD means aggregate demand that is equal to C plus I. C means consumption expenditure. I means investment expenditure. This curve represents AS. AS means aggregate supply. As we know aggregate supply equal to income. Y represent income and income equal to C plus S. C means consumption, S means saving. E is initial equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply. That means goods market is in equilibrium. When aggregate demand is equal to aggregate uh, supply, that means saving and investment also equal to each other. In B diagram on X axis we have income and Y axis we have interest rate. This A point also shows equilibrium in goods market. As we earlier discussed, these both diagrams are connected with each other. At equilibrium, when goods market is in equilibrium, our initial interest rate is OR and initial equilibrium income is OY. Now suppose interest rate fall from OR to OR1. Now our interest rate fall from OR to OR1. As interest rate fall, investment will increase. As investment will increase, that means aggregate demand will also increase. That's why our aggregate demand curve will shift forward from AD to AD1. C plus I, this I1 is our new investment. As aggregate demand increase, as we earlier discussed, income will also increase. So here you can see our income has increased from OY to OY1. In below diagram you can see our income also increased OY to OY1 and B is our new equilibrium point. This E1 and B are new equilibrium point which shows equilibrium in goods market. Now suppose interest rate fall more, uh, interest rate fall more means interest rate fall from OR1 to OR2. As interest rate fall, that means investment will increase more. As investment increase, aggregate demand curve will shift forward from AD1 to AD2. As aggregate demand increase, income will also increase. And our new equilibrium point is E2 and below diagram our new equilibrium point is C. Here you can see we have three equilibrium point A, B, C. 
when we join all these point we will get our is curve this represent our is curve so this is our is curve which mainly tell us a various combination of interested and income which describe equilibrium in goods market a b c point describes equilibrium in goods market and process of equilibrium is initially interested fall as a result investment increase when investment increase aggregate demand increase when aggregate demand increase aggregate supply will also increase or we can say that when aggregate demand increase income also increase and ultimately we achieve our equilibrium level where aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply and this will be called equilibrium in goods market now we are going to talk about lm curve and derivation of lm curve l represent liquidity or we can say that l represent money demand m represent money supply and together lm represent money demand and money supply obviously money demand and money supply tell us about equilibrium in money market and lm curve is combination of interest rate and income which mainly tell us equilibrium in money market lm curve is combination of income and interest rate which mainly tell us equilibrium in money market here process of equilibrium is initially income increase as a result demand for money will also increase obviously when income of people is increasing they do more demand for money because they want to hold money for different motives but money supply is constant as a result interest rate will also increase now we will derive lm curve here we have two diagrams a and b which are connected with each other in a diagram on x axis we have money demand and money supply y axis we have interest rate in b diagram on x axis we have income and y axis we have interest rate this interest rate and this interest rate both are same because these two diagrams are connected with each other ms is money supply curve here we assume our money supply is constant md is money demand curve e is our initial equilibrium point which shows equilibrium in money market in this diagram a is our initial equilibrium point which shows equilibrium in money market at this equilibrium point our equilibrium interest rate is or and equilibrium income is oy now suppose our income increase from oy to oy1 our income increase from oy to oy1 you can see income increase from or to oy to oy1 as income increase money demand will also increase if money demand increase money demand curve will shift forward from md to md1 this is our new money demand curve as money demand increase interest rate will also increase you can see our interest rate increase from or to or1 this e1 is our new equilibrium point and in this diagram this b is new equilibrium point and e1 and b point shows equilibrium in money market now suppose income increase more from oy1 to oy2 income increase more oy1 to oy2 as income increase money demand also increase money demand curve will shift from md1 to md2 as money demand increase interest rate also increase from or1 to or2 e2 is our new equilibrium point and in this diagram this c is our new equilibrium point here you can see we have three equilibrium point a b c when we join all these equilibrium point we will draw our lm curve this curve represent our lm curve so this is our lm curve and lm curve shows various combination of income and interest rate and all point on lm curve like a b and c shows equilibrium in money market and process of equilibrium initially income increase as a result money demand increase as a result interest rate will also increase if interest rate will continuous increase after certain time period money demand will fall and become equal to money supply and ultimately we will achieve equilibrium in money market now we will see general equilibrium with the help of is and lm curve in this diagram on x axis we have income and y axis we have interest rate this is our is curve which represent equilibrium in goods market this is our lm curve which represent equilibrium in money market at this e point is and lm intersect each other when is and lm intersect each other that means both market goods market and money market are simultaneously is in equilibrium please listen carefully 
when is and lm intersect each other that means both markets goods market as well as money markets are simultaneously is in equilibrium as we know goods market is in equilibrium when aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply saving is equal to investment and money market is equally is in equilibrium when money demand is equal to money supply this point shows aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply saving equal to investment and money supply and money demand also equal to each other so we can say that when is and lm intersect each other that means both market goods market as well as money market are simultaneously is in equilibrium so this is all about is and lm model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care